Hello, this is Dan O'Brien, Extension Ag Economist at the Kansas State University, also with Guy Allen, uh, who's a Senior Economist, International Grains Program, Kansas State. We're going to talk about some international market issues. This would be the first of two parts. First part, we'll talk about general issues, and then second, uh, in a separate, uh, separate video, we'll talk about issues relating to Brazil in particular. Guy, I'd like to turn this over to you. Thank you, Dan. Um, good to have the opportunity to sort of highlight some of the issues that are uh, driving the international grain markets as they come back to the U.S. and the underlying issues there. What's been in the headlines lately, obvious, is the coronavirus, the coronavirus situation, the COVID-19, and it's having an uh, impact on the market. Uh, the other key issue at the moment is this uh, crude oil feud between Russia and Saudi Arabia, which is having a significant impact on energy prices, and that particularly flows back to, uh, to corn and soybean uh, demand. Yeah, about the, the coronavirus situation, from an ag sector point of view, its impact has actually been fairly minimal. The supply chain continues to work. Uh, we're seeing product Farmers are still farming, product is still moving to the marketplace in a fairly orderly fashion, and uh, supply chains are processing and products are be delivering uh, grocery stores and exports are happening and processing is still taking place. Sort of the, the good news, agriculture being an essential industry across uh, uh, the U U.S. economy. Uh, probably the more interesting part, uh, which is actually an easier solved problem if the geopolitical masters want to make it happen, is the oil feud between Russia and Saudi Arabia. This is having a significant impact on crude oil prices and just flowing into that ethanol demand. I think we've seen approximately 30% of the U.S. capacity shut down for, uh, for various reasons, but the big driver of that is this low oil prices. And underlying that is also the significant drop in US, uh, particularly fuel demand from both cars and trucks and supply chains. People just aren't moving, product isn't moving uh, like it used to be. So the price of uh, fuel oil and gas really, really dropped off. And the impact on that through that whole energy sector, not only in corn and ethanol, which I said has dropped off about 30%, but also in the biodiesel situation where we're winding that back quite significantly as well. But the good news is exports are still happening. We're still seeing buyers such as Japan, Mexico, and South Korea in the marketplace. Um, matter of fact, export shipments for corn have been at 11 month high. So it's good to see that export supply chain still supplying some underlying support for commodities as corn soybeans as, as well as wheat on that. Uh, in the meat situation, we saw initially in the wake of this coronavirus situation, um, somewhat of hoarding activity on meat, uh, pork and chicken, as consumers rushed to secure supplies of that. Uh, the China situation has added support to that, but we've really seen the demand drop off in the last few weeks. I think this uh, shelter at home situation has really driven the consumer to be buying more uh, grains and vegetables and the meat demand has really, really dropped off. Uh, and, go ahead, Dave. I might add in, I, I think, uh, and this is kind of the first part, we have a second part, we're gonna come in and really drill down more on, on uh, what's happening in Brazil. And what we have COVID-19 COVID issues here, but, uh, uh, there's some issues down in South America that's affecting logistics and potentially having an impact on uh, on U.S. markets. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you very thank you very much for this for this uh, listening to us on this first part. We're going to come back and just in with a, in a second video and talk about those South American and other international issues as well. Thank you.